Here are some examples of the types of needles used in the teaching laboratory. We have a long metal transfer needle, which are reusable, and then a couple of the disposable variety, which come pre-packed. The reusable needles are returned to stores once they have been cleaned. Cleaning these metal needles will depend on what they have been used to transfer and you should follow any special procedure outlined in the experimental script. If you are unsure, consult a member of the demonstrating staff. Once the needle is clean and dry, it should be returned to stores. Please take care when carrying them through the lab to avoid injury to yourself and others. Needles should always be carried point down. The main hazard when using needles is puncture wounds. This video will show the best way to handle needles to minimise the risk to yourself and others. Once a needle has been used, there is a risk of more serious harm from chemical contamination if an accident occurs. We use needles to transfer liquids on the laboratory nitrogen lines or as an outlet for a sealed flask. Remove the packaging from the disposable needle. Do not remove the needle cover until you are about to use the needle. If attaching the needle to the nitrogen line or to a syringe, you should use a gentle twisting motion. Do not over tighten as this can cause an accident when trying to free the needle or cover. Here are some examples of reagent bottles which contain air sensitive material. These have special seals incorporated in the bottle which must not be removed. The area to insert a needle can clearly be seen. More often you will encounter super seals on lab prepared dry solvents or on your reaction flasks. The area to insert your needle is marked by a circle on the top of the super seal as shown here. Here we are attaching a nitrogen line to a flask. With the flask secure, gently remove the needle cover and pierce the super seal slowly and firmly. When using the needle as an outlet on a flask, remove the cover and pierce the super seal slowly but firmly. When using a syringe and long needle, you might need to use two hands to stabilise the needle when piercing the super seal. You should keep your hands away from the needle point as much as possible. When removing needles, it is important to keep your free hand away if possible to prevent injury. Injuries tend to occur when a needle is freed suddenly, so a slow but firm action minimises this risk. The disposable needles should be placed in the sharps pins. If you use a disposable needle with a disposable syringe, both should be placed in the sharps pin. You do not need to remove the needle from the syringe before disposing of both. You should not replace the needle cover before disposal. Both should be placed in the sharps pins separately. Replacing a cover on a needle is the most common point at which an accident occurs. If you have used a needle as an outlet line on a flask or on the nitrogen line, you should dispose of them once you have finished. Do not leave needles lying around the lab. Please remember, do not recap the needle before disposal.